this video we will see what is the core of a section and i'll represent it on a diagram so the concept is for core of a section and for core of a section here i am considering a figure in which we have a circular section which is having the diameter as capital D. Now, core of a section means it is a region within which if the load is placed then there will be no tension in the section that is it will be a region or an area within which if we are placing the load then there will be no tension in the section and suppose this cross section which we are seeing of a circle this is a column so we need to find out where the load is to be placed on the column so that there is no tension in that column because if the tension is there then the column will be removed from its foundation because of tensile stress so here i'll say that we know that for no tension condition eccentricity e should be less than or equal to z upon a now for the circular section i'll say that let capital a is equal to area of cross section of circular section and that area of cross section will be pi by 4 into capital d square next zxx and zyy i'll say that it be section modulus about x axis and y axis respectively now first i'll calculate zxx that will be equal to ixx upon y So therefore, Zxx will be, Ixx is the moment of inertia for the circular section about its x-axis. So it will be pi by 64 d raised to 4 and y is the distance of the extreme fiber from the x-axis. this distance is capital D by 2 either we can take it at the top or bottom it will remain same so capital D by 2 so therefore here this I have written actually it is Ixx the moment of inertia denoted by I Zxx is the section modulus so putting the values here therefore Zxx will be equal to here I have Ixx pi by 64 d raised to 4 divided by y so if i write multiplication this will become reciprocal so 2 by d it is divided by d by 2 so if i write multiplication that is 2 by d so here we have 2 and this 64 bits cancelled here we have d and this becomes d cube so therefore zxx is pi by 32 d cube now after getting zxx value i'll put zxx and area in this eccentricity which i have written keeping this as the first equation so now i'll put the values so therefore put zxx and area 
in equation number one so we have eccentricity e with respect to x less than or equal to zxx upon area and the values are zxx pi by 32 d cube divided by area pi by 4 d square so therefore e suffix x is equal to here i'll write down less than equal to pi by 32 d cube instead of division if i write multiplication this will become reciprocal 4 upon pi and here we will be having d square so now after cancellation pi and pi gets cancelled out d square gets cancelled here d square gets cancelled so only d remains 4 and this becomes 8 so therefore eccentricity with respect to x that will be less than or equal to d by 8 next i'll say that since for a circular section i x x is equal to i y y and even y is equal to same d by 2 so therefore eccentricity with respect to y will be equal to eccentricity with respect to x so eccentricity with respect to y is less than or equal to d by 8 now after getting the values of eccentricities with respect to x it is d by 8 so here with respect to x i'll take a value of d by 8 on one side d by 8 on other sides this is e of x x eccentricity with respect to x next eccentricity with respect to y axis that is also the same value so the same distance would be there ey and ey <coughs> so after this if i see here we are getting an area if i join all the points with the help of a circle i am getting an area and this area is nothing but it is called as core of a section and core of a section is that region within which if we are placing the load then there will be no tension in the condition in the section if the load is placed anywhere away from this black shaded region then there will definitely be tension in the section and then the column would be failing so in this video we have seen what is meant by core of a section